My name is John Hawes. I'm an associate professor at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And my laboratory is interested in studying estrogen receptors and their functions in breast cancer. As most all of you probably know, the majority of breast cancers express estrogen receptor alpha. Up to 70 to 80 percent of all breast tumors are year alpha positive. And for these tumors, we have uh, very good frontline therapies. But my laboratory and others over the past 10 to 15 years have been interested in trying to understand the functions of a second form of the estrogen receptor known as estrogen receptor beta. This is a separate gene that's encoded on a uh, different chromosome from ER alpha, but it is the most closely related protein to ER alpha. And what we've been able to show through a series of studies over the past years is that estrogen receptor beta's function in multiple tissue types is different than that of ER alpha, both when it's bound to its naturally occurring ligand estradiol, as well as uh, when it's bound to a number of synthetic drugs that are used clinically, such as uh, tamoxifen and raloxifene. Knowing that estrogen receptor beta can function differently than estrogen receptor alpha, we wanted to start screening um, breast tumors to determine what percent of them may actually express ER beta. And what we've been able to show through a series of studies here at Mayo Clinic in screening over a thousand breast tumor samples is that approximately 30 percent of all breast cancers do express estrogen receptor beta. And uh, this ER beta expression in breast tumors can occur in all subtypes of breast cancer. So these ER beta expression is found in ER alpha positive tumors. It's found in HER2 positive tumors. But one of the things that we're most excited about is we've been able to show that approximately 30% of triple negative breast cancers also express estrogen receptor beta. Triple negative breast cancer is defined by the lack of expression of ER alpha and a couple of other therapeutic targets uh, that are used uh, clinically to treat breast cancer, being HER2 and also the progesterone receptor. And for, for the subset of patients that uh, are diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer, their therapeutic treatment options are very limited. And at present, we only treat those individuals with a series of uh, chemotherapy regimens followed by radiation and or surgery. And after that, we really have no follow-up therapies or targeted therapies, so to speak, that that can specifically target an individual gene or protein to prevent a recurrence in these individuals. So given that we now know that 30% of triple negative breast tumors express estrogen receptor beta, one of the things that my laboratory is really interested in is trying to define the functions of estrogen receptor beta in the subset of breast cancer patients and to determine if we can actually therapeutically target ER beta like we do ER alpha, and if so, what are the best drugs that we should be using to target this receptor? So in our uh, recently published manuscript, uh, what we have been able to do is to develop a number of cell line model systems that using triple negative breast cancer cells in the laboratory that overexpress estrogen receptor beta. And we have shown that treatment of these cells with estrogen or other synthetic molecules that act as agonist for ER beta actually are able to suppress the proliferation of, of these cells. And so this was very exciting to us um, but counterintuitive a little bit as well, given that estrogen is known to promote the growth of ER alpha positive tumors. But here we're seeing that estrogen actually suppresses the growth of ER beta positive tumors, or at least uh, ER beta positive triple negative breast cancer or cell line model systems. And so in our manuscript, we, we tried to begin to understand some of the molecular mechanisms by which estrogen receptor beta is functioning to act as a tumor suppressor in this subtype of the disease. And what we were able to demonstrate is that both in vitro and in vivo using mouse model systems, that compounds that specifically activate the functions of the ER beta do suppress uh, proliferation, and they also suppress tumor growth. And through a series of studies aimed at understanding some of the gene expression profiles that are differentially regulated, we were able to identify a set of genes um, that are involved in cell cycle progression. And in particular, we, we showed that cyclin-dependent kinase 1 and cyclin-dependent kinase 7, their expression and function were inhibited by uh, ER beta in triple negative breast cancer cells. And we believe that the inhibition of these uh, two particular genes, as well as the, the ligands, the cyclin molecules that activate them, may be part of the mechanisms through which ER beta is able to act as a tumor suppressor in triple negative breast cancer. But as an extension of those studies and going beyond the functions of just estrogen receptor beta, 
we were also able to show that these particular kinases, CDK1 and CDK7, may independently act as novel therapeutic targets in triple negative breast cancer patients as well. And we showed this by specifically knocking down their expression levels using siRNAs or by using drugs that selectively target these two kinases to inhibit their functions. And under both of these conditions, we were also able to show that uh, suppression of CDK1 and or CDK7 expression and or function was able to potently inhibit triple negative breast cancer cell patient. And so going forward, we plan to continue to follow up on our studies, trying to continue to further understand the mechanisms of estrogen receptor beta function in triple negative breast cancer patients. We are developing and getting ready to start up a clinical trial that will be aimed at selectively targeting estrogen receptor beta in triple negative breast cancer patients that will be open here at Mayo Clinic and hopefully other institutions across the country coming year. And the idea is to screen metastatic uh, patients with metastatic triple negative breast cancer for ER beta positive disease, and then those individuals will be eligible to enroll and be treated with 17 beta estradiol, the naturally occurring ligand for this receptor that we've been able to show can inhibit the, the uh, proliferation of triple negative breast cancer cells, as well as the progression of uh, triple negative breast cancer in mouse model systems. Other future studies could involve further exploring the potential to target the CDK1 and CDK7 molecules that we, we showed were particularly important in ER beta's mechanism of action in the subtype of breast cancer um, as well. OncoTarget was launched in 2010 as a traditional peer-reviewed journal with free access that focused primarily on cancer research. Currently, OncoTarget is a multidisciplinary journal which publishes in weekly issues and is covering topics beyond oncology in fields such as neuroscience, immunology, pathology, and more. You can click on the link in the description below to order a reprint or read the manuscript that was discussed in this interview on OncoTarget.com. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thank you.